Hello everyone, I'm Trina Burris, the President and CEO of United Way of Buffalo in Erie County. And I'm really excited today to bring you the first in our You Belong series that, you will, be, that will be read by um, people from the community, people that you know. And today I'm excited to read the first book here in Black History Month. And I'm even more excited about the fact that this book was actually written by my nephew, Terrence Burris. The name of the book is Kayaka. Kayaka comes from Hawaiian dialect, meaning shadowy friend. It's a story about self-actualization and confidence, um, and it may be semi-autobiographical. Um, so I'm happy to read this uh, book to you today, and at the request of the author, I am enjoying it for the first time myself. So. Come on, let's find out about Kayaka. Did you hear about the little boy that was afraid of his shadow? No matter where he turned, no matter where he would go, he could not get away from his shadow. Mommy, why does that thing follow me? While telling the story, he started to cry Mom smiled at him and wiped his eyes. I hide under a table or behind a tree. No matter what I do, it's following me. On the playground, swinging on the monkey bars, on the sidewalk, playing with my race cars. I will try to run from it as fast as I can, but as soon as I run, it knows my plan. It looks like me, except it lives on the ground it copies me, but makes no sound. He jumped at his shadow, trying to scare it, but it scared him instead. So he ran to his mom, and here's what she said. My son, what do you want me to do? You cannot run from it, T, because that, it is you. He waved at his shadow, and it waved back at him. Listen to your mom to get back on track. That's your shadow. You can call it your friend. He faced his fears and was never scared again. From yourself, do not go too far. One thing you can never do is run from who you are. And that, my friends, is the story of Kayaka. Thanks.